Hello guys, this is Bull back with another Fortnite video and today we're going to be ranking our top locations in Fortnite Battle Royale and I'm going to be telling you every single one in this tier list. Now, before everybody gets all um, you know annoyed that I don't pick their favourite location, this is my personal locations that I enjoyed landing at. So, we're just going to be going by that. I, am, I have no mercy for... OG locations. I know they could be OG, but I'm genuinely going by what I enjoyed landing. Now, we're going to be starting at Tilted Towers. Now, Tilted Towers definitely deserves a great. Now, it's not my favourite, it's not the best, but it's, it's, it's just, you know, you always kind of enjoy landing there. It's a solid great. I mean, a solid. If there was one between best and great, Tilted Towers would be that location. The next one is Tomato Temple. Now, this is quite a hard one because I actually don't mind it, but it's still a low tier, um, you know, a low tier location for me. I did not really like that sort of theme, and we're going to be going. This is going to be going into the OK section for me, and then Tomato Town. Now, Tomato Town, I actually prefer Tomato Town over Tomato Temple, even though Tomato Temple has more loot. I'm just going by what purely in the terms of at the time of when that location was there. Um, that is what I enjoyed it. Obviously, as you go back in time, there's less locations to land, and um, you know each location was more valuable. I, I I sort of guess. Let's go here, and we're going to put Tomato Town straight in the middle as a good location. Wailing Woods is going to be um, now. This is a hard one for me because Wailing Woods is kind of OG, but I genuinely didn't like landing there. It was too open. It, it it was really the fact that it took me a kind of a while. This is obviously before a lot of the mobility items in the game, um, like the obviously their vehicles and stuff. This was just annoying to land here and having to get back in the fight late. So I'm going to put this as an okay. Um, a lot of people might not like that, but that's just the way we go. Salty Springs. Now, I am going to have to put Salty Springs as a great location. I love Salty Springs. There's so much to do. The great fighting zone in the middle of the map. It's got a lot of loot. Great location. Now, Shifty Shafts, now this is a hard one for me because Shifty Shafts, I love it when it wasn't snowy. I, this is, may seem weird, I loved it. Obviously, it's the same location, but they've just added snow onto it, but I much preferred Shifty Shafts before the snow was on it. So I'm going to be going purely on before the snow, and I love Shifty Shafts, and this is going to be a great location for me. This is a great location, I just loved it so much. The next one is Snobby Shores. Now, this is an easy one for me. This is good. This is just a solid, good location to go. Sunny Steps. Oh, this is this is an okay one. I just don't land it. I know a lot of people must love Sunny, Ste Sunny Steps. It's one of them new locations I dropped there a couple of times, and I just never go back. Never go back there. Now, the block... Now... I have to put this as great now because the block changes all the time and it always introduces new content in the game and I love coming back to the block and I always end up finding myself landing here quite a lot so I definitely we're going to put the block in a great spot right there. Now Paradise Palms now this is a good location I think it's, it's right in the middle it's one of them solid locations it's got a lot of loot um, it's got some obviously it got the refs you can get out of there it's a really good location pleasant park guys pleasant park is it's it's the best it's one of the best locations for me you cannot deny it um it's been there since the start it's a solid location land there's always fights always you can rotate so many different ways i love pleasant park it's got it's got to be a great location now polar peak i'm just going to say guys I'm going to probably get hate for putting this in here, but Polar Peak is the worst location. It's, it's one of the worst. Um, the loot is bad. Um, you're on top of a mountain. It's awkward to get back down. It's awkward when you're up there. It's just, I do not like landing there. And I hated when there was challenges that were putting me over there. I hated landing Polar Peak. It's awkward. I don't even like that side of the map too much. Um, yeah, so for that, no. No polar peak for me. Retail Row, guys, Retail Row was a best location for me. I loved Retail Row. Um, it's just one of them solid locations. I have just too many good memories, but it's a really good land. Obviously, it's the OG one. Risky Reels. Now, if you guys remember Risky Reels, there was a challenge around about Season 4, 
and I know a lot of you guys are remembering this challenge. It was to gather seven chests, and it was to, it was literally the week just when we were unlocking the visitor, and this was absolutely very hard to earn. This one, this was an awkward challenge, and I liked Rescue Reels. I'm going to put it in the good section, though. It's not great, but it's good. Leaky Lake was a okay one for me. Um, it was better than um, Loot Lake. I'm just, well, that's kind of a hint what we're going to do. In fact, let's just do Loot Lake right now. Loot Lake, worst. Now, I'm going to have to, def I'm going to have to justify why I'm putting the Loot Lake in the worst location. Guys, be honest. Be brutally honest. How awkward was this thing? No one really wanted to land here. The loot was bad. I don't even know why it's called Loot Lake. And it was awkward to move across. I didn't even want to go come close to Loot Lake because it was awkward. You had to walk around it. You, it was a no. This is not a good location, guys. Loot Lake was the worst. Even though OG OG location, but I have to I have to stand my ground here. It was not a good location. Lonely Lodge, on the other hand, is an okay one. It's an okay location. Lucky Landing, okay. Um, Moisty Meyer, oh guys, 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 oh this is a good one, guys. Moisty Meyer, for me obviously it had the the one where it was there was an update where there was sort of film studios on it. That was the best Moisty Meyer in my opinion. But OG Moisty Meyer, guys, at the time, at its peak, there was chests on each of the islands. It was a best location. I'm gonna put that right in there. Moisty Meyer was a best, and. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, unfortunately, the prison and stuff isn't in here, but um, and the fat and the the factories um, are in this list, unfortunately. But they would, I, I would, I'll say what I'll put them as at the end. Um, Happy Hamlet is uh, it's an okay location. It's mediocre. I don't like it. I know there's a lot of loot. I just don't like that part of the map. And obviously, I might get some hate for putting that in there, but I just can't. Um, I can't do it, guys. The next one is Haunted Hills. Okay, straight up okay. It's nothing special at the side of the map. It's below the supervillain base, which no, it was below the haunted mansion. It's okay. Junk Junction, good location. I like Junk Junction because you have a kind of an option there. Corner of the map. It's a good location. I do enjoy landing Junk Junction. Now we've got Lazy Lagoon. Now this is a this is a hard one because I do like Lazy Lagoon actually. It's I like the ship. I like the pirate ship. I don't actually like going into the actual little sort of village, um, fishing village, I, I want to call it. I don't actually like that, so it's going to be a good for me. I do like the pirate ship. I always find myself going there. Lazy Links was a... Mm, this is hard. This is between okay and good for me. If there's one between here, I, if there's one between, I would... I'm going to put it as okay. Um, it was a bit too open. There wasn't that much loot. You only really went there to get a golf buggy, so I'm just going to put Lazy Links as a okay. Anarchy Acres. Now, Anarchy Acres was was replaced by Lazy Links. Uh, no, no, yeah, Lazy Links replaced Anarchy Acres, and I loved Anarchy Acres. I loved it more than I love Fatal, and I'm going to put Anarchy Acres as a solid, good location. I really enjoyed landing there. I miss it. It's a good location. Dusty... Deport. Now, this is one where a lot of OG players will say this is a great location, and at the time it was. It was a great location. There is no, there was barely any chests on it. That's like, the, but back in the day, there was not many locations to land. We have to take that into consideration. Fortnite's completely different than what it was when this was around. There was barely any locations, and this was a staple for Fortnite, and remember this was, a lot of fights broke out here, this was a good look, in fact, this is going as a great location, this is going up with the greats, um, it was a great location at its time, obviously now it would not do in our current map, but at the time it was great, I have to go by what it was at the time. Dusty Divot, obviously in the picture of Dusty Divot we've got the grass, but I am going by the original Dusty Divot, the one where the meteor hit, that was a good location guys i liked that it was open i don't like the trees i like to have a little bit of sight i really enjoyed that at the time when there's hop rocks if you guys remember ogs the hop rocks hop rocks were there that's what was that location was fail field is going to be okay because it has to be below um it has to be below where was it anarchy acres and um, it just is i prefer anarchy acres over it so i'm just going to put it there flush factory Oh, guys, this is going to be... I'm going to get hate for this. I'm going to get hate. 
It's going to be the worst. Now, this is going to be bad because I'm putting it with other things, but at its time, no one barely landed there. I barely landed Flush Factory. If I did, I was always running into the zone. This was the days before there was barely any mobility. It was awkward. Do I, does it deserve a worse though? I'm actually double... Should it go with the OKs? Should it go with the OKs? Yes, it's going to go with the OKs. I can't put it next to Look Like and Peak Polar Peak. I do not like them at all. Frosty Flights. Okay. Greasy Grove. Greasy Grove. Guys. Guys, we're doing it. I'm putting Greasy Grove in with the best. And I'm not even going to explain myself, guys. Greasy Grove was an amazing location to land, and I really miss it, and I hope it comes back. That it was, guys, Greasy, we need Greasy back. That was how good I enjoyed. This would be one of my, this would be pretty much number one, if that could be. Um, Mega Mall, I prefer Mega Mall. It's going to be good. It's a good location, isn't it, guys? Or is it? Yeah, it's good. Neon Tilted. We've put Tilly Towers as great, but I prefer the old Tilly than the new Neon, so we're going to put it as good as well. And last, but certainly not least, it's going to be the least, guys. I've just, it's going to be worst. It's pleasant, pleasant plant. I do not like it. i just going to have to say that now, guys. I do not like pleasant plant. There's barely any loot. It just, I don't like it. And I, that's just my opinion guys why i'm putting that as the worst you guys can let me know what you guys like and dislike in the comment section i know there's gonna be people saying oh my goodness look look this should be the best now i'm 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 being unbiased towards guys i'm an og i played this game pretty much the second it came out and right when it started becoming popular way before that you guys can check when i started making videos for this i have every right to say that the og ones are are it was a bad location, guys. I'm just going to say it. But anyway, that is them all. That is our complete full list for that you guys can have a look. Let me know what you guys think. But, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Please let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.